Hey there, I'm uh, Tim Crennan from CATI, Computer Aid Technologies, and today we are going to be scanning an engine block. Um, we have a preformed metro scan with us. We just brought it into the uh, workshop, so it's just all packed up still. We haven't done anything. Um, and then, so we're just gonna run through a quick, take it out, set it up, start scanning, and show how easy the whole process is. Um, should be pretty quick. So, first thing we're going to want to do is get our metric scan set up. This is the uh, big preform 3D scanner. Um, it uses a uh, secondary C track thing, which is this big guy in here, to actually see what you're going to be scanning. So, we'll just get that up. So what does the C scan portion of this do for you when you start scanning? So the C track is, uh, this sees a fixed volume uh, in front of it of what we're going to be scanning. So it gives us a couple benefits. It means we can use less tracking targets within that volume. So it just needs to see like five or six talk points on it. So it can figure out, okay, this is what I'm looking at. And this is my boundary and kind of, we can put the targets, what we did in this case, we put targets directly on our engine here. Um, these are just little magnetic targets so they just snap right on they have swivels on them so that way we can uh, put it on and then we can actually because this is all mounted together in the scene the C track will see these targets and know where it is in 3D space and then if I'm having trouble like I need to scan something right here and I'm blocking the C track so we can't see it and figure out what's happening we can actually just spin this whole thing over here and rotate our swivel targets so that way the C track can see them again and then we just keep on scanning. We don't have to stop or restart anything. Um, so that's that's pretty much what the C-Track does. And because it sees a fixed volume, um, it also gives us really high volumetric accuracy. So that way we don't have to, we don't have to like this tolerance stack of like per meter of distance we're scanning. Everything that's in here, it knows the size of. So that okay. way we have really high accurate data from it. It's more flexibility, more accuracy. Yep. So this is just the uh, power cord for hooking up our controller. So because we have a couple different uh, items going on here, we have the controller that the C-Track talks to, and we also are gonna have the Metroscan scanner part that actually talks to the controller too. And then it compiles all the data and sends that to our computer. So this is the cable for plugging in our C-Track. So you see pretty long cables, uh, nothing rigid or fixed about this situation. So we can drag these around from wherever we need to, just plug these in the back. So it allows you to be a little more freeform. So like today we're just in my shop, which isn't a normal big manufacturing facility, but we can still accomplish what we're looking for. Exactly. So we'll go ahead and plug the power cord into our controller. And then we'll plug the C track into the back of that. Again, it's just a couple of USB plugs and the main quick release. So it's a very easy setup for all this. Plug our USBs in, no particular order, just gotta put them into the back. Okay, and then let's get the MetroScan scanner itself out. It's a pretty interesting looking part. So, this guy. So, how this works is actually it gets the data by projecting out some red laser lines out of these 
points right there, and it has uh, seven sets of uh, crosses that it projects out and it sees how those deform over the surface to figure out what the shape is. Um, and then all this stuff around it, all this craziness, this is what the C track is actually looking at. So it can tell where this is in 3D space because of these calibrated targets the cage all around it. It looks like what they use, what you see in the movies when they talk about doing the special effects <laughs> stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. So when they, uh, it, it's, it's along the same line. So it's basically tracking targets. So when they're doing special okay. effects and they have someone covered in dots on a green screen jumping around, it's so they can follow all those points on them very specifically in the air. Uh, we'll just set this down. Plug this also into the back of our controller. All right, and then we'll turn on our controller, and that'll start warming up. Uh, the seat track does need to warm up a little bit because it's so large, and it can actually have thermal expansion will affect it a little bit. So it's okay. going to take five minutes or something to warm up. Meantime, we can get our laptop and everything set up, and we can also start putting the targets on our engine if we didn't have them there already. Which again, we're just magnetic stickers, so nothing uh, over the top on that. We also have regular stickers for it, um, which would be this spool of tracking targets, and it's literally just stickers that come right out the top, and you just stick them on your part, and that's what the C track's looking for. Okay. You mentioned earlier that this is this type of scanner is a metrology metrology grade scanner, um, and then you can also use this for reverse engineering as, or uh, for inspection as well. Correct. Inspection, reverse engineering. They use it for museology and other unique situations. Um, yeah. So because the accuracy is so high and it's all calibrated and it's all guaranteed to be at these specific accuracies, so you, people can actually use it for. Uh, First article inspection and process inspections. They even have a bigger, fancier version of this. They can actually be hooked up to a robotic arm. So you can That's have awesome. it like on an assembly line or car doors are going by and it'll just automatically scan it, run it into the software, give you a full inspection report in a matter of like a minute. Wow. Uh, we'll just open up some software for the VX elements. here just be for setting up the connection to the controller between our computer so we'll just plug in a uh, cat5 cable yeah nothing super high tech just some USB cable cat5 cable and that way they can talk to each other uh, we have a bunch of different applications in here for if you want to do inspection, you have the inspection, we have VX model for VX modeling stuff and reverse engineering. Um, we're going to do VX scan right now because we want to acquire a bunch of scan data. So and right now it's all it's all very user friendly interface. Um, over here we can see it's showing, okay, there's the C-Track data, it's warming. We just need to wait for it to uh, warm up for a couple minutes and then we can jump in and start scanning. It's going to see the targets on our engine block. We tell it to identify those and use those as our tracking info. And then we can go and scan it. Um, if you take a look at our engine block, you know there's a bunch of bolts sticking out of it willy-nilly. So these are kind of mirror imaged uh, versions where we can just flip around and use it on the other side. So with the scanner, because it's optical, we're actually scanning, we're trying to scan holes and we want to get these the bolt pattern data, right? So it's hard to actually scan down deep into the hole and like get all the surface edges because we're, we're holding it out here and you can't really see there. So, I mean, this will give us enough around there to be able to use and actually extract the uh, hole patterns out of. Um, but what can be a little bit more accurate and just easier to get the data from is we stick like these bolts in or wooden dowels or something. And you can actually scan it. Now when we're scanning these parts, we actually can get uh, the outside data there that fits directly into that hole. And easily extract like a cylinder or circle data from those um, a lot 
you know, quicker without having to worry about, oh, I didn't get too far down into it. And that will be especially useful for some of these holes here actually aren't in line with this face. So it'll have its own axis that's going on. So this will make referencing that direction it's going down uh, a lot easier. Um, yeah, I mean, so that's the setup. I mean, these are just, again, magnetics. Uh, tags we put on it. We had a couple stickers that we're using a little here and there, and, and that's it. I'm mean, just, just need to wait. <laughs> that's pretty fast. Mm -hmm.